she does the loudest burps. <laughs> I've never in my life heard someone burp that loud. And she just, <laughs> We'll, we'll be in the bar frame. I'll be like doing my like wing liner or something. And then I hear a burp, 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 burp. And I was like, oh, oh God. <laughs> Hello, Coco Jumbo. How the bloody hell are you, darling? I'm so good. How are you? Thanks for having me. Oh, it is my pleasure. You're looking gorgeous today. Oh, thank you. It's the little Camilla moment. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, Coco, we're not here to f spiders, all right? Oh, yeah. Today, we are going to be making you a yearbook to celebrate your time on Drag Race Down Under. But there's oh. a catch. You must nominate your fellow queens in the following yearbook categories. The only rule is that you can't nominate yourself. Oh, yeah. I want to win all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Category is... Shadiest Queen. She has a lot of shade inside of her. I like slowly start to see it come out. Just seeing her like little like shady little snippets. I'm loving it. She has a shady little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking about shade, we have to talk about that letter. This is very Oprah. So what is the truth? Doc gif. Now. Do you have any theories who it could be or have you since found out? No, um, I've got no clue. Like my hunch has always been Art Simone because I did kick her out the week before. <laughs> <laughs> Let the record show I kicked out Art Simone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe you said it a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> I kicked out Art Simone. But um, yeah, <laughs> I totally think it was anyone, it would have been her. But yeah, what am I going to watch out for? I already kicked her off one. <laughs> you no, know, I heard apparently this had happened before to Mayhem Miller in season 10, but they didn't air it. Well, there we go. More shame. Something's going on. My <laughs> other theory was that it might have been Michelle. Maybe she heard you singing and was like, watch out, girl, you're in trouble. <laughs> Absolutely, probably. <laughs> For the record, I thought you sounded lovely, Coco. Lovely. Oh, I did too, but my headphones weren't working. <laughs> yeah, it was, the, it was the headpiece. It was the headpiece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mariah. <laughs> Category is best look. Oh, that's hard. I really loved Maxie's. Like, she reminded me of Grandma. Mm. The nanny, and I died for that. But um, growing up, I did love a goon sex, so I'm gonna have to go with Scarlett Adams. The goon bag dress was very good. I have indulged in a goon bag on my travels to Australia. It was an experience. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, the runway was bogan prom realness, and you were very resourceful with the finishing touches to your outfit. Tell us about that, because this made me <laughs> die when I found out. Well, like, looking around the room, I, I, I did notice, I was like, oh, okay, well, maybe mine is like a little bit on the basic side. So instead of like doing what Electra did and like, so it's, I don't know what the fuck she did, but she said she tried and elevate it. But um, I thought I'd just like turn it into a, a, a character and rub some dirt on my knees. I went out to the car park and I like grabbed some clippings from trees and just like stuff them in all over me. Cause like, I just wanted to be that slutty bitch that was late to the prom because she was too busy sucking up the football team. <laughs> <laughs> And it's not everyone's dream. Certainly was mine. <laughs> I would have loved to have seen the look on people's faces when they saw you coming out in full drag, rubbing dirt and putting leaves on your side. Like, <laughs> if only there was footage. My dog's like, what is that man doing down there? <laughs> <laughs> and then you had the lip sync and Electra went full gay ninja and was saved. But you gave her a very close run, I think, despite not having the flips and the splits and all that. So what was that like? like in the moment? It was fun. Like I enjoy performing. Performing is what I've done for the last 10 years for like as my like full-time job. But just because I can't do the splits and death drops doesn't mean I'm like a bad performer or anything. It was just like a lip sync for your life and it is only a competition. So um, yeah, I'm still happy for a lecture. Yeah, no, but your performance was so good. It was just like a joy to watch you. You seemed so happy. You were so in it. I actually thought you might do it. You might be a lecture, but alas, not this time. Maybe all stars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Category is Class clown. I'm gonna have to say Maxie. She is so yes. funny. Oh my god, in that last episode when Scott was like, oh Michelle said like I was like a star and I was beautiful. And Maxie's like, well RuPaul said that about me, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> 
Fine. Well, talking of clownery and Maxi, there was that hilarious moment where Maxi didn't say like good luck to you as you were about to do oh. the lip sync. <laughs> Did you pull her up on that after the show? Pretty much after it happened, like, like Maxi and I watched the episode together and I just looked and I was like, oh my God, I forgot about that, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, did you send her a note in the post, like, watch out? Oh, my God, could have. Oh, shit. Yeah, well, that's an opportunity missed. <laughs> yeah, there's still time. Just put it in the post today. I'll get there yeah. in two days, I'm sure. Category is Miss Congeniality. I'm going to say my beautiful, stunning, hilarious sister, Anita Wiglet. Oh, I absolutely adore her. When like we came to the premiere at the Opera House, when I, I walked into the hotel lobby and I saw Anita and Kid and me and I was like, oh my God, and I started crying. Luckily, uh, uh, luckily I was wearing glasses, but I, I just started crying. Like, man, I just like, gave the big hug and I'm like, Anita and I, we had the best night that night. So much fun. She seems like a very warm and genuine person, which is lovely. She is amazing. Category is Biggest Bogan. Oh God, I want to say like Jojo or Art Simone, <laughs> but um, do they have to still be in it, in the competition? No, it can be anyone from the competition, so oh, if they're still in or out. I want to say Jojo then. <laughs> <laughs> she is so funny. Like we, um, in quarantine, like her, Maxie and I, we started doing like the, like the 45 minute walks around the car park and like just doing mm. laps. And she does the loudest burps. Like, oh my God. Like I've never in my life heard someone like burp that loud. And she just, <laughs> we'll, we'll be in the microphone. I'll be like doing my like wing liner or something. And then I hear a burp. And I was like, oh, oh God. <laughs> like the mirrors would shake. <laughs> You know, it's funny, when we asked Jojo that question, you could hear her partner off camera going, it's bloody you. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously okay. there's a theme there. <laughs> yeah, and the partner would know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, one last question, because, I mean, the editing on this season is a little bit rushed, so I'm, I feel like we're missing moments. So was there anything that you wished had made it to camera that we didn't see? Well, um, Anita reminded me yesterday on her Instagram that um, when we we're doing the girl group challenge, I was helping Anita learn the choreography, which like from the very get go, she said that she wasn't well at taking on choreography and she's not really a great dancer and I can take on choreography really quickly. So I, I would let Scarlett and et cetera fight over what was like being put into the show. And then they'd tell me, and then I'd like spend the time with Anita getting her mind around the choreography. Oh, that's nice. Sisterly love, that is. Absolutely. And like, yeah, I absolutely love Anita. There's nothing I wouldn't do for her. She's amazing. Oh, I love that. Well, we always end these videos, Coco, with a yearbook quote. So what quote, and it could be absolutely anything, would you like to be remembered by? Hmm. Is Soz bitch already taken? It's not taken. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in there. <laughs> That's it. Echo, 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 echo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Coco, it's been so lovely chatting with you. What are you up to next? Where can we find you? Get your plugs in. Well, the girls and I are doing a tour around Australia and New Zealand in September, October. So if you like, need any ticket or tour information, I think it's at livenation.com.au. Check it out and hopefully we'll get to see everybody there yes and hopefully you'll come over to the uk one day soon i want you so bad promoters oh, I... but coco for god's sake <laughs> 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 all right coco lovely to speak to you good luck with everything darling thank you so much